Hi guys, FIFAFAN0511 here today with a, another squad builder review. Today I'm going to be looking at a 15k really good budget hybrid. And um, that is a French Serie A Bundesliga Prem hybrid and I hope you like using it. So in goal we have Stefan Ruffier. 83 rated plays for Sad Etienne from France and he costs me 1000 coins. In his eight games, funnily enough, I didn't score or get any assist, but he was a very solid keeper. Um, he made some saves that were unthinkable of most goalkeepers and um, was just just a very solid keeper. One ground was an understatement. I'd probably pay about 5 6k for him. And yeah, he is a great player to link up with as well. And right back, we have Mike on 79 rated, plays for Roma from Brazil. Uh, cost us 2,700 games. And there are 8 games. Well, it says 8 games. I'll explain this now. Um, one of the games he disconnected before kickoff. So it's only really 7 games. He, Michael managed to get 2 assists. Now, his key stats he does have 80 physical, but all his base stats you can see are 71 plus, which is pretty awesome. Um, and he's a very well rounded card. His passing over the top is insane. And he can also hit a shot, free kick. He's got elbow right foot on him. So he's just a perfect all round right back. At right centre back, we do have Mapu Yanga and Biwa. 76 rated plays for Roma from France, and he cost me only 500 coins. Now, in our seven games, he did get an assist, and his key stats are 76 pace, 80 physical. Now, for a centre back, those works really well together. His defending also seems to be high because he seems to be very solid and did make a lot of important tackles at the crucial times. So, again, 500 coins is nothing for a player like him. And left centre back we have Eunice Kabul, 79 rated, plays for Tottenham from France, and he cost me 900 coins. In his uh, seven games, he didn't get any goals or assists, but he did have a lot of chances from set pieces, especially. His key stats: 74 pace, 80 defending, and 82 physical, make him a very well-rounded centre back, and someone that I definitely pay a lot more for. At left back we have Kieran Gibbs with a kind of surprise package in the team. 78 rated plays for Arsenal for England and he cost me 1,100 coins. Now as key stats you can see he's got 81 pace, 79 defending. But that 56 shooting is an awful lot underrated. As you can see he did get a goal and it was an absolute worldie as well which would be in the probably top 10 goals I'll put at the end. Because it was just absolutely world class. It, just, it was just a strike from a rebound from a corner. But he took it so well and you wouldn't think it didn't reflect his 56 shooting that well, but overall he was a very underrated, very solid left back. Now my two holding mids are arguably two of the best holding mids I've used for FIFA. Our first one is Luis Gustavo, 82 rated, actually the best Brazilian holding mid on the game. Uh, plays for Wolfsburg and um, his key stats 83 defending and 82 physical as well as 74 pace, 72 passing, 73 dribbling. Make him very well rounded, also picked up a goal as well. So, yeah, that was great. Also, this guy, Dali Blind, 79 rated place for Man United from Holland, cost 900 coins. You wouldn't think so. He got a goal and assist. He also won us two penalties as well out of that. Um, um, so, yeah, he was... You wouldn't think you'd have medium attacking work rate. I would say he's a high high because he's just everywhere. And him and Gustavo together just held everything up and their passing was just so good in the middle. Now at right mid we have Jacob Blaszczykowski, um, 82 rated, plays for Borussia Dortmund from Poland and he costs 1,500 coins. As you can see this is a very, very budget team and just plays it well, well together. In his eight games, he did, his seven games rather I should say, he scored us two goals and got an assist. Although one of his goals was a penalty that I was meant to take with Blind because I was doing like whoever won penalty got to take it but I kind of forgot to change it. Um, also got an assist as well. Which, yeah, he 87 pace and 83 dribbling, and um, those two together make him feel a lot quicker um, than he actually is. And he's got a hell of a right sh foot shot on him. Um, so, yeah, again, another cheap um, player to, that I'd recommend picking up. Now, here's my favourite player of the team, I must say uh, Kevin De Bruyne, 81 rated, can plays for Wolfsburg from uh, Belgium, and he only costs a grand. Now, seven goals and three assists in seven games is insane. His key stats you can see 80 shooting, 80 passing, 81 dribbling, five star weak foot, four star skills. And to be honest, in a week or two's time, I probably will review his info because I love his base card so much. But quite frankly, um, I think his inform would just be so much better. 
and to be honest I couldn't see ways it could be better I mean he scored a couple of really good headers as well as like very well taken finishes so yeah um, just an insane player now left mid we had Adnan Yanazai 75 rated plays for Man United from Belgium and he only cost us 550 games now is he, 50 games what am I on about um, as you can see in the 7 games he didn't um, get a goal or assist but he was so influential on the left hand side um, I think he won a couple of penalties but it was just like the crosses he put in like caused a threat and he was always a very good option especially of his 4 star 4 star 82 pace and 81 triple as well made him seem quite rapid. Now up top we have this guy, uh, Adrian Ramos, 79 rated, plays for Dortmund from uh, Colombia and he cost us only 1,500 coins. Now I will say that admittedly to get 7 goals and 6 assists in 7 games, um, it should have been about 15 goals. The amount of chances that um, he couldn't put away was ridiculous and they weren't against like the best of keepers either against players like Tim Howard who are very dodgy on this game although he did obviously uh, an even goal return ratio and six assists isn't something to like complain about but I kind of expected a bit more from him although if you want goals and assists is all we need him for really but it should have been a lot more that's all I'm going to say now this team did cost around 15 grand as you can see our most expensive player being 1500 coins and there's a few of them knocking about so this is a really affordable team for the majority of um, Ultimate Team players. So, yeah, for the rest of this um, video, as always, just going to be the top 10 goals. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any squads or players for me that you'd like me to review, leave a comment and I'll uh, consider it or give you an opinion if I've already used them and like don't want to try them out or for whatever reason. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Could be dangerous. There's a chance. Got to be. And they've pulled it back level. The ball. That could open them up. Opportunity here. Here's the chance. And the ball's in. It's a goal. The goalkeeper left totally isolated here. And... The Ramos, it's a chance, here's the shot, and he scores to equalise. And it's the equaliser here. Well, I don't go that far from the holidays, and he scored from that distance. That's a very good goal. A goal from Vermos. Well, it is an open goal. But he's hitting again at 1 1. What a chance here. Got to be. And a goal into the bottom corner. Kevin De Bruyne. In with a chance. Such quality in the build-up and a brilliant finish. A wonderful goal. Points for a corner. Adrian Ramos! Great header, great goal! That was a goal of deluxe. Blazikowski. Luis Gustavo. Ramos. Great chance. Got to be. Well, they have taken the lead. A goal from De Bruyne. Ramos. Keeping the move going. It's a chance. Got to be. And a score now. Could be in, got to be. It's a well taken goal and they're level. An equaliser from Ramos, and the keeper doesn't have to bother diving for that one.